this is my latest solar power setup. I've got uh, three small solar panels here and they're paralleled up in this connector here and then they go into my PWM5 solar charge controller which is pulse width modulating away nicely and then I feed this battery and that's sitting there at float voltage 13.6 volts so on the face of it this is a nice green solar power setup but there's a problem here and that is that the battery being full is actually taking very little current from the solar panels and the charge controller here whose job it is to rapidly switch on and off is going to be a lot more off than it is on so most of the potential power from these solar panels is not being used and that's power that's wasted and that's not ideal so what we want to do here is find a way of using the surplus power that the battery is not using so we bring in the 12 volt grid tie inverter let's go and get that so what I'm going to do now is disconnect the solar panels from the charge controller and instead connect them up to the grid tie inverter like that now this inverter monitors the mains it um, measures things like frequency, amplitude, phase and when everything matches up nicely it exports energy from the solar panels to the mains electricity grid so here we're exporting 30 watts into uh, my home electricity grid and that's good that means that um, TVs and computers and fridges and other stuff that's using electricity in the house is now using 30 watts of solar power and that's 30 watts they're not drawing through the electricity meter so that saves money problem is now the battery isn't being topped up so what we really want is to have both these things the charge controller keeping the battery topped up and the grid time inverter exporting energy to the grid well you can probably see from this pair of disconnected connectors here that we can do exactly that so let's connect these up and now we've got the best of both worlds we've got 18 watts that's going to climb up the grid time inverter is just finding maximum power point again so we've still got 27 watts going out to the grid so we're only using 3 watts here to keep the battery topped up that's sitting there at 13.6 volts and we've got a situation where none of the power from the solar panels is now being wasted it's either being used to top the battery up or it's being exported to the power grid now as far as I'm aware this is the only solar charge controller that has 12 volt grid tie inverter compatibility and this is the PWM5 solar charge controller from 256.co.uk